guys, Steph here. Okay, for you Eagle Eye viewers who watch my videos on a regular basis, you would have actually seen this pen here. As you can see there, a lovely pen as you can see, but like in a lot of cases on this particular model, the, well the plunger is not working obviously, as you can see there as well. Um, the ends are very badly discoloured. So, after a little bit of TLC, a little bit of work, here we have the pen in question. And what we've got for you here is an absolutely gorgeous, or not all the pen, Delarue and Company from London. And this this particular one is what we took well the model is a 5601 um as you could see a little bit in the um in the previous video it comes with this lovely chasing pattern there as you can see it's now in gorgeous condition let's show you the the barrel imprint you can see it reads Anotto the pen Delarue London underneath so it's got a lovely clear barrel imprint there we go and as I said it's been fully restored we've put a new cup washer plunger washer inside we've put new cork washers inside as well and it's in beautiful condition and another thing you'll notice now that the the cap top there is a little bit more well blacker if that's the word <laughs> along with the plunger knob there you can see is a lot darker as well it's not completely black but it's a lot better than it actually was before but all in all in beautiful condition um, the size of the pen capped is 136 millimeters capped around the barrel it's a lovely 11 millimeters in diameter now when we say it's the 5601 we're dating the pen from circa around about the 1940s and in some cases they do actually have the model on the end on the plunger knob in this particular case even before uh, we polished all the discolouring out um, there was no sign of any model number on this pen so yeah in some cases I have actually seen them before where the model number is not is not visible on the pen but as I said an absolutely stunning pen this one has actually been reserved a eagle-eyed customer saw the pen and said is it available I said yes subject to restoration and the gentleman has reserved it so if we take it up to the cap you can see it's got a sort of quite a smallish quite thin cap band it's got the very recognizable um, Onotto ball clip there and if we show it to the top there it's got the Delarue symbol to the top which is a, a sort of a sunburst within a circle and as we said to the top there now we've got a much darker um, finial to the top of the cap now this particular pen or this particular model should I say came in well a number of well four different colors this one being the chase pattern um, they also came in a a blue marbling colour, a green marbling colour and what they term as wine marbling colour. So they came in four different colours. If I take you up to the section you can see the section is a long section with this little ridge towards the nib. If we sort of take you up to the nib there it reads Delarue Onotto 14 carat London 3-ST so it's got the correct number 3 nib there's a sideways view there's the feed underneath and as always 
everything internally has been thoroughly thoroughly cleaned and it's a gorgeous gorgeous pen even with my large hands it's a lovely comfortable pen to hold now for you people that don't watch my videos first timers as I said it's a plunger filler which means we've got this plunger knob to the end here and what we do we simply unscrew the plunger knob pull out the plunger like so we dip the nib and a little bit of the section into the ink and we press down in one swift movement okay so it's what we term as a well I'm calling it I call these a plunger filler some of you people out there may call it a vacuumatic or vacuum filler whatever um, everyone to their own I call them plunger fillers now what I'm going to do let's bring on some ink let's pull out the plunger dip the nib into the ink there we go and I'm sure you could hear that all that sort of bubbling noise going on which is precisely what we want to hear now what we do now is screw the plunger all the way home now with a lot of these pens the Anottos had what they termed as a shut off ink system inside here which means when you screw it all back in the plunger knob it shuts off the ink so to write with it we need to take it maybe a half turn backwards let's bring on some paper and let's see how the pen writes so what we've got is a a notto a notto the pen made by Delarue and Company of London as we said we're dating it to the 1940s it's writing very nicely does it have any flex some of these nibs tend to have a little bit of flex so I'd say it's got a little bit of flex I don't like putting too much pressure on the downward strokes but there we go so there's a writing sample I'd say it's writing with a fine line but with a little bit of pressure on the downward stroke as you can see there we're getting a little bit of variation in the line so yeah a little bit of flex on the nib now what we'll do as we always do let's show you how it actually fills so what I'm going to do um, putting the nib over the ink I'm going to pull well unscrew the plunger first pull the plunger out and press down let's do that two or three times just to empty it we'll pop the ink to one side there and uh, like we do in some of the other videos let's bring on some water so what we're going to do is pull out the plunger like so dip the nib and the ink in the water and press down in one quick motion okay so you could see all that bubbling going on now if I pull out the plunger once more and then again press down there we go so let's do it once more pull out press down you can see and hear all the bubbling you normally leave it for a few seconds to fill the full barrel and then if I pull out the plunger again and press down there we go let's do it one more time plunger out press down bubbling leave for a few seconds okay now let's pull the plunger out and press down and there we have it 
so let's give it a wipe. I'll carry on doing that for a couple more times off camera just to clean all the insides out so it's ready for the customer but there you have it from what you saw before to a rather tired old pen discoloured ends Uns well wasn't working obviously it's now been fully serviced and it's ready to go and it's ready to be enjoyed by the new owner so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them you people. Don't forget, as always, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel, then you don't miss any videos. Don't forget, people, a lot of you do forget. Press that thumbs up button to the bottom there to say that you like the video. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching the video. So for now, I'll just say... Slavo Krijini and from this pen and me bye bye for now